Hi, it's Ben here at Glide. Uh, just doing a quick video where we're going to look at how you can use uh, webhooks within Glide to trigger integrations with um, theoretically kind of any other program that, that supports webhooks. Um, my particular example today is a popular one. We're going to look at the Zapier, uh, Zapier uh, webhook trigger and we're going to use it to post a job update to the Slack program. So, to kick this off, I'm going to go into my Zapier dashboard. I'm going to make a new Zap. And the trigger step is going to be not the Glide app, but instead the built-in app called Webhook. There it is. And on this occasion, we want to catch a hook. Okay, so Zapier has created the URL here that, that forms the webhook. Uh, this is the web address that will be getting updated with the information we, we send to it. Uh, of course, this is hosted by Zapier, so it'll be on, on their servers. So we're going to copy that to the clipboard. I'm going to jump into our Glide system. Now, for my example today, I'm going to configure Glide to send information to this webhook when we send management accounts to a client. So to do that I'll come across to the config menu. Uh, bear in mind you need to be a super user to access the config menu and I'll go into edit workflow systems. I'll go into my management accounts workflow, come across to workflow routes. I've just got the one route in here currently and I'm just going to scroll down to my step that is sending to the client. Here it is. Um, we will create a new action and this action is going to be uh, just at the top of the other section here, send data to a webhook. So we need to post into here the URL that we took from Zapier. Um, we can put a description here, so I'm just going to say send info to Slack. That's my ultimate purpose for this, uh, for this webhook. So we click save. Okay, so coming back to Zapier, um, what it's asking me to do is to do, 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 I think at this stage we need to do a, an example so we need to go into a management accounts job let's go and find any job and we're going to progress beyond the uh, sent to client stage so this is currently on awaiting info so I'm just going to shoot through this workflow and this is the button here that will trigger the uh, trigger the sending of information to that particular webhook. So I've clicked that, we'll come back to Zapier and we'll click OK, I did this. And what that's doing is that's going to now go and just find our test hook. Zapier will then just check it's happy with the information we're sending, it'll let us know if there's any particular problems. When that workflow action was triggered, it will be queued within the Glide system and Glide sends the information to the webhooks every 60 seconds. Therefore, do bear in mind that this could take up to 60 seconds to be uh, on the Zapier server, at which point it will find the information. Okay, great news, test successful. We can look at the information it's picked up here. So the workflow action uh, send data to webhook just, just shares a, a variety of information about the particular client job and, and step. So that all looks good to me. So I'm going to click continue. And now we obviously want to put in an action step. So um, you can see I've already connected my Slack app here. So I'm going to use that one today. And I think I'm going to post information to a channel. Yep. So let's continue. Um, yes, that is my Slack account that I want to use. So we need to pick a channel. I've only actually got one, I think. Uh, Glide job updates. Yep, that's the one. Uh, message text. So we can put in here uh, great news. We have sent a set of management accounts to. And then if we come back here, we can find the name of the client. Um, they will be really happy. The job date was 
So I'm just picking out a couple of random bits of info here. The job date shared in, in the kind of year, month, day format. Um, perhaps not the most user friendly. I mean, I won't do it today, but you can use the, the Zapier app format to change the format of any date field, but um, probably no point for the purpose of this video. So of course, you know, if we just glance again at the information shared by the by the workflow action, uh, there's quite a bit quite a bit in here. So for example, the holder of the job, the stage of the job is now on, the root name, uh, various bits of info that you could merge in. I'm just going to go for a for a simple simple message there. So let's look at our other. I think all of these ones are now optional, so we probably don't don't need to do these today. Um, so we're going to send it as a bot, you know, fair enough, that's that's fine. Bot name. Okay, I haven't configured any bot names, so we'll just leave it as Zapier. Won't worry about the icon. I um, think I'm happy just to leave all of those other optional steps, and I'll click Continue. So we're going to now test the the sending to Slack channel message action. So let's go ahead and do that. Yep, it seems to be happy with that. So if I go to my Slack, there we go. So the Zapier app has said, great new, okay, spelt news wrong, never mind. Great new, we have sent management accounts to Old Uncle Farm. They will be really happy. The job date was 3110. Cool. So we can now click finish, and you know it's as simple as that. Um, we're going to give the zap a name. So this will be uh, management account sent to clients brackets to Slack. And of course, you know you can you can do lots of things here, as I'm sure frequent users of Zapier will know. You could add other steps. You could update a spreadsheet, you could trigger an internal message, email message to the client. Of course you can do that in Glide as well, but if you prefer to use Zapier, the functionality is there as well. Finally we're going to switch it on. That's going to wait my that's going to make my Zap active. So now let's just simply close Zapier and I'll leave my Slack open here and let's see a kind of a live example. So let's just pick on another management accounts job. Let's pick on Big Chef Limited, 30th of September. Again, we're just going to progress through and we're going to click this one here, sent to client. That's going to trigger my webhook. Uh, so that's what's happened there is that the workflow action has posted information to that URL within Zapier and then uh, Zapier is going to pick that up and it's going to trigger the, the Zap as they call it, and that will send the information into my Slack. So, um, could take could take a couple of seconds. Okay, there we go. So, I reckon it took about fifteen seconds there, which is pretty cool. That's pretty quick, um, and we've got a second message coming in down here. So of course, you know, this is a um, fairly simple example here. Just I set up this Slack account this morning as I don't don't otherwise use it. Um, there's just a single user on here. But if you've got a big office and you want to share news, for example, you know, information coming in, uh, anything really that might be part of your um, Glide workflows, then this is a this is a great way to do it. Uh, so I hope that's a useful video. Um, we'll be posting a lot more. Uh, kind of similar uses. Now that we've got the, the Glide Zapier app coming along, we'll be posting up videos of other cool things we, we work out, uh, you know, kind of good use cases for the, the Glide Zapier app. Okay, cheers.